hey loves and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to learn how to make this cool shirt dress so you will need like two yards or two and a half that is if you're making it for a plus size i have been having serious light issues i've not been posting for a while now so the my generator is having issues i cannot use my machine so i'll be posting only the cutting video for now but i will surely post the sewing video so this is for the back part i have folded my fabric so make sure that after folding your fabric is like up to 30 inches on fold so you first of all measure your neckline you can see i marked 3 by 1.5 the wideness is 3 inches the depth is 1.5 that is for the back part i'm cutting the back first of all so after marking the neckline you can see that the neckline is not too deep after marking the neckline you will go ahead and measure your shoulder so the shoulder that i'm using for this shirt is eight inches so i measured eight inches that is 16 then from that point where i measured eight inches you go ahead and measure your sleeve length if you want your sleeve to be a very long sleeve you should make it up to 20 plus band the band will be four inches that will be 24 inches but my fabric is not too long so i made it 19 inches that is starting from that area where i marked my shoulder i marked 19 inches for the long sleeve then i will go ahead and measure my full length your full length should be from 34 till 36 so that it will be very fine then i marked my 35 plus one in similar one that is 36 so this area where i'm marking this chalk right now is the full length i don't know if you can see that sorry this video is not too clear i am not using my ring light so from that area you measured your sleeve length you come down by like five inches you know that is four inches for the wideness of your sleeve and then one inch for the seam allowance but if you want to gather your sleeve around the wrist you will have to measure like seven inches or eight inches then at the full length you will divide your hip by four then after that you will add extra six inches if your hip is 44 you will divide it by four that is 11 plus extra six inches that will be 17 so i marked 17 at that full length your hip divided by four plus six inches then from there i will connect it to my sleeve to my round sleeve you can see where i measured five inches for my round sleeve i started from the full length and connected it to that my round sleeve area then after i curved the down part of this shirt you can see how i curved it if you want yours to be more curvy you can as well do that so you can see how i curved this shirt around the sleeve area from your curve at the down part you curve it you connect it to the round sleeve area and it should be curved so this is the shape of this shirt for now and i have folded my fabric for the front part so i'm trying to cut out the front part now and this front part will have a button it has buttons you have a button allowance so i have folded and i'll go ahead and place my front my i'll go ahead and place my back on this fabric that i folded for the front remember the back part is on fold it is not open but the front part will be open because you have to fix your button around there so the only difference between the front and the back is going to be the neck depth the wideness of the neck will still be three but the depth of the front neckline will be three inches you can see here i mark three then after that you add two inches for your button allowance you can make it two and half if you want so i added two inches for my button allowance so the front part is wider than the front by two inches that is for our button allowance then i'll go ahead and connect my neckline the neckline for the front is three by three then i will go ahead and cut so after cutting my neckline i will go ahead and open the button allowance and then i will cut out the side so the side of the 
front will also be curved to be curvy the way the front the way i curved the back as well so they, they will be the same around the side and remember to not where you want your slit to stop that is if you want this shirt to have a slit but if you don't want it to have a slit then fine so you can see i'm cutting the sleeve area so after cutting this shirt this is the shape you will get and that will be enough so for the wideness of the shirt remember what i did i divided my hip by four and added six inches seam allowance to it so this is the back this is how it looks and this is the front you can see the front part you can see it is very small around the round sleeve area then i have my button allowance you can see that the front is two pieces so that is it so right now i will fold this fabric for my band remember you add a band to the sleeve so the wideness is four and a half the wideness i mean the wideness of the band itself is four and a half then you go ahead and measure your round sleeve plus one inch seam allowance so i after folding this i measured four and a half on fold and then my round sleeve is eight inches plus one inch seam allowance then i'll go ahead and cut out another one for the other band so after doing that you go ahead and cut out the pocket that you place on the left side of the front remember this shirt has a pocket so when posting the sewing video i'll show you guys how to cut out the collar and how to sew everything i will definitely do that i'm trying to fix my generator i will post that maybe on monday so thank you guys for watching and please do not forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that anytime i upload the sewing video you will be the first to get notified so thank you guys and see you in my next video bye